Quran is not created first and foremost. The yeah? Quran is not created. Secondly, so now we have two secondly, Muslims secondly, saying that the Quran is not created. Right, so okay, so yeah. where in the Bible? Where in the Quran does it say that? The Quran is not created. Where does it say that in the Quran? The Quran is the word of God. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. Show me in the Quran. Listen, I'm not here to give Mr. Irrelevant here the platform. How are you, He's Mr. Irrelevant. He comes down here that the Quran is created. We can week out. He brings the argument. I wasn't here last week. And yap, 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 He's yap, here yap, every yap, yap, single yap, yap, week. Yap, 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 yap. You can find him on YouTube He's not for over a year. Okay. He's not interested Look, in hearing so the truth. He's going to show me he wants to argue for the argument. Show me the Quran. We come here to show give me dawah. in the Quran where it says we don't the Quran is uncreated. to debate or argue I'm with people. I'm asking him a question. You understand? Show me in the Bible where you say I'm God. Show me in the Quran where it says the Quran is uncreated. If you are interested in hearing the Bible, then we can talk. According to their own he's so ignorant in the Bible where the Jesus says I'm God. Quran, he he where it says the, the Quran is uncreated. Show me Show one me verse. The Bible you're so ignorant. Verse, mafia, you're, wait, wait. wait. You're, so ignorant. you're so ignorant. You're so ignorant. He's a man. He thinks he's a school of Jewish Show me one verse. That's how ignorant you are. Show me one verse. My friend, you have no knowledge. I'm asking you. Then educate me. He's half the other. You're a Muslim. You understand? You have a duty to educate me when I'm ignorant in Islam. That is your duty as a Muslim. I am asking you to show me. Right. In the Quran, right. where it says right. the Quran right. is Shut uncreated. Up. Shut up! Shut up! Quiet! 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 You are a liar! Quiet! Quiet! You are a liar! Quiet! 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 Oh, okay, I'm telling quiet. you, you are a liar! Quiet! Are you quiet? I'm are you quiet? 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 Okay. You believe God is eternal, yes? No, don't answer a question with a question. Yeah, of course. Show me in the Quran no, where it says the Quran sure. is uncreated. Look, 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 look. Answer I'm answering the way I want to answer. Bible, my friend. I answer the way I want to answer. I answer it the way I want to answer it. So answer the question. If you keep your mouth shut for five seconds, I'll tell you. Okay, go Are you going to keep your mouth shut? I will not speak for five minutes. Are you going to keep your mouth shut five seconds? I will not talk Are you going to be quiet? Five seconds or five minutes. Seconds. What do you want? Right. So the Christians believe Jesus or the Father is eternal, right? Yes. They believe that the word, the speech of God is eternal. Yes or no? Okay. So do you then worship the Bible? No, no, no. Wait, I, I'm keeping quiet. Okay, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. Do you okay. worship the Bible? So he's allowed do you, me to. Do you wait, worship the Bible? Can I speak now? Go on. He asked me a question. By the way, I want to debate this guy. Let me ask you a question. You're not he guy. asked a question. Let me answer it. I asked the brother, the school. mafia man, for one <laughs> verse Don't of the Quran that showed me that the Quran was uncreated. One verse. He didn't show me. So I'll ask him again and I will be quiet for again. a whole minute. Okay. Show again. me one verse in the Quran that again. says that the Quran is uncreated. Let me ask a question. Okay, Let me ask a question. I, I what, you. what do you mean? About the Quran being created, tell me. What no, do you I'm mean? being quiet. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Show wait. me what Jesus said. I'm he God. He doesn't even know, even know what he's saying. Show me in the Bible wait, what wait, Jesus wait. said. I'm God. Show me in the Bible. <laughs> show me in the Bible. No, no, no. Okay. Show me in the Bible. Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant. No, no. Show me in the Bible what Jesus said. Mr. Irrelevant. Show me. Do you believe the Father is eternal? Yes or no? Okay. Can I reply? Yes. Okay. So I asked the brother. To show oh, me a single oh, verse he's not in the Quran he's that not showed that the Quran was uncreated yes, it and he didn't. Make it look so like ask him again. We are winning show the me debate. one verse in the, the, the Quran show me the that Bible. says that the Quran is oh. uncreated. Show me the one Bible. verse. Jesus said I'm God. He walks he away. Show me. You genuinely are right. No, brother. There's no evidence no, in the Quran. Talk. Okay, show me the Bible. He's wrong. Let's accept. But you're a Look. Listen, show me in the Bible. Listen, let's say what does it make difference if Quran is created or uncreated? What does it make difference? What does it, does it belittle be, be little the Quran? That's what you're No, not at all. So, so what's the point? So what is your argument? And that is my point. My, my point is that I, I still, believe that... It's still a word of God as we believe, yeah? It's still a word well, of God. That's what you believe. Right. That's what you believe. Well, well, I I'm saying that. So I it doesn't believe. belittle what is in the Quran. No, not at all. Not so at all. why are you there's, raising there's a couple this of, There's a couple of points to raise out of this issue. Right. Okay, let's talk about the Bible. No, 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 we're not talking, remember. Let's talk about the Bible. You didn't want to talk earlier. You had your chance. I want to debate. I'm asking. You. And so, you can record. In, in terms well, listen, of it's, it's fair. The, the relevance. No, no, this guy has a secret agenda. What, what, what and I'm he lied. Seeking to he lied. I have watched this video. Muslim, the Muslim I want to debate all Muslims. Where I mean, Jesus there's lots of Muslims that are listening to us that aren't doing this. Mm. But there are Muslims here who come regularly to give dawah. Yes. 
and they demand strict criterion of evidence right. mm -hmm. that when we reverse that strict criterion of evidence they can't produce what is their criteria what was the criteria so i'll give you for? an example i'll give you an example it's mm -hmm. the one that this brother now suddenly wants to debate me on even though Five minutes ago, he didn't want to talk I said to I'm me. Not right. so, do you understand? So now, so didn't now, I tell you why that do you I'm keep interrupting? I'm talking to him. Did you not tell you? Stand one no, no. Side. Why are you lying? Please stand no, no. one side. You say sorry then. Shall we just be in you? Uh, didn't you? didn't, just stand didn't I tell you that I'm not qualified so that I can to talk talk to you. about it? That's okay. That's okay. Didn't I tell you this? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? It does happen. Why are you lying? You're right. No one talk with him. Just go last. Why? 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 Stop aggressive. pushing brother. me, brother. brother one second. Didn't I'm not lying. aggressive. Didn't you lie? Why are you getting in my face no, no. and pointing didn't, at didn't me? Didn't you lie? So, didn't I tell you that I'm not qualified? Yeah. Listen, hear in me out. Excuse, 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 excuse me. So, in reply to you. Excuse me. Listen to reply to you. Didn't I tell him that I'm not qualified I'm, I honestly, to talk about it? I didn't it? want to reply to you. But did, yeah, so, yeah, why is he lying? So why I'm is he lying? come around this side. Why are you lying then? Why are you lying? You're a liar. You're a liar. I told you that I'm not qualified. It doesn't belittle the Quran at all. No, no, and you're a liar. That point in doing Admit that. that you're a liar. What I'm trying to show, and what yeah. I think I have no. shown, yeah. is you a few things. You recorded that. One, I told Muslim you that I'm not qualified. No, what, no, what, no, what, you asked no, me what, what Muslims what required from so you. Yeah, yeah, what, as a yeah. So, yeah. So, what uh, an example of that no. would be the no, Muslims can you accept that you're a liar? doing dawah here yeah, in Speaker's Corner yeah, yeah. regularly come yeah, and they go, I, I told him very clearly I'm not qualified. The subject I'm qualified. Worship me. And then Christians, obviously, because Jesus never uses those words. You know why Muslims say that? Wait, hold on one second. Hold on one second. So they establish the criteria of evidence that when it's reversed, they alive. cannot substantiate okay. themselves. Don't talk to okay. a liar. That's what can I'm I say seeking now? to... Yeah, can I say course. something now? Now you say Muslims came along... The Muslim Dawah team. Not yeah, every okay, Muslim. Okay. The Muslims no, here yeah, not doing it. Just the Muslim Dawah okay, team. Okay. Muslim Dawah team come here and they say, show us where Jesus says, I'm God to worship me. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now if you reverse that question... Which I have done just now. No, brother, let me speak. Why yeah. you keep it I apologize. Me? Sorry. So let I have me to finish my point. Yes, please. Very important. Now we reverse that question to Muslims. Where Allah say, I am God and worship me. What do you do? You go to chapter 20, verse 14. Where Allah say, I am your God, Allah, and do worship for me. Chapter 20, verse 14. Now, if you reverse that question. Now, no Muslims come and ask you, is the uh, Bible is eternal word of God or not? Muslims don't, because Christians don't believe that. Christians do not believe the Bible is eternal word of God and, and will be with God forever. So why are you asking this question to Muslims? Is it good? Quran is eternal or not? Why? Okay. So because Muslims don't ask this question about the Bible. So because Christians, Christians already believe the Bible is not the eternal word of God. May I reply? One minute. One one, one thing I want to clarify okay, as well. Yes, Why Muslims course. believe Quran is eternal word of God? Because eternal has two meanings. Yeah. Is, Muslims believe Quran is eternal word of God. I believe Quran is eternal word of God. So eternal has two meanings. One meaning only applies to God, who was ever was and ever will be. That's one meaning. Second meaning of eternal, once you create it, you will never diminish, you never uh, uh, finish. You will live forever. Like you say, you will have eternal life in the Bible. So Quran, I personally believe, that definition applies on the Quran, eternal word of God, it will be forever. Same like our souls will be forever. So that's where that's what some Muslims say, eternal word of God, meaning it will be forever. May I reply now? But it, I believe it's a, it's a moment in time when Quran was created. May that's I my reply now? Yes. now what the Muslim Dawah team would do, if I sto spoke about the philosophy that lays behind the Trinity, the first thing that the Muslim Dawah team does is yeah. say, show me in the Bible where it says that. Concept. So now I'm going to do that to you. Concept. You, Concept have just, you have just given two different uses of the word eternal. Yes. Please show me in the Quran where it uses that in that way. It's a definition of eternal. No, no, no. It's a definition of no, no, go no. to English language, no, no, English no. dictionary, and tells you what's the meaning of so eternal. The point that I'm making to you. So the point that I'm one second. So you one deny, second. You denying me? No, no. What, no, I, I, I'm trying to reply to you, if okay. you let me. What I'm saying to you is if I said to you that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost yeah. are one in substance and three in persons, or one in oesis and three in hypostasis. Okay. You would then go, well, where are these words in the Bible? Show me where it says that in the Bible. I no, no, sorry, my that. apologies, not I you, not you. That. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Muslim Dawah team who right. operate here in Speaker's Corner do that. Yes. Now you have just in this discussion yes. given two definitions of, of the word eternal and right. how it's used. Right. So now I'm asking you, 
to verify that in the Quran. Okay, hang on. The Quran is not a dictionary. Uh, Quran is not a dictionary. But what I'm just saying to you, are you disagreeing with me the meaning of eternal? What I said. Uh, well, what I'm. Are you disagreeing with me or agreeing with me? No. What I, what I'm saying to you is, I, I agree with the idea that eternity is outside of time, without beginning and without end. That's the understanding no, no, I, of eternal. That eternal. You are disagreeing with me then? Yeah. I'm My definition. Okay. Yeah. So now your Bible says, you will have eternal life. Bible says that. You agree with that? Bible yes. says that. So, but you are not forever like God. This is a good but point. But you will have eternal life. Then I can't. So, uh, what is the that meaning one, of that eternal? On, on that one point, I will concede. I've used the word eternal incorrectly. Eternal so, has I, a secondary meaning. Are you conceded? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, in the camera? On that one point, yeah, it's on camera. My it's meaning camera. of eternal, he yes, agrees with me. His you. meaning okay. of eternal, I accept. Thank you very much. So, now I'll ask me this question. Right. That's what I mean. Where is that in the Quran? Uh, no, it's That's in the Bible. It's justified in my Bible. Where is it in your book? It's not in the Quran. Of it's not in the Quran. What, what, what so not, you're basing what, what your, your beliefs of eternality no, what is, what is on the Injil, not on the Quran. What is not in the Quran? God says he will. You have just used no, the Injil. Yeah, exactly. You mean eternal word? No. Hold on. So are you are you changing your position now? No, no. Is are you saying the Quran is eternal? No, the Quran is eternal. No, the word of God eternal. is. Yes, but, but what in mean, earlier in our conversation in, you in said it was meaning, not. In what meaning? In what meaning eternal? Meaning it will it's never be. Day. It never be finished. It will be forever. It will I told be you the meaning of eternal day. has That's two right. meanings. Okay. One eternal meaning applies only to God, who was ever was and ever will be. So are you the saying, other meaning of eternal so is like our souls. Are you disagreeing with Imam Abu Hamid Al Ghazali, who says the Quran is read by God? I'm disagreeing with him. Written in books and remembered in the heart. My criteria. Yet it is nevertheless is uncreated and without beginning, subsisting yes. in the essence Ghazali of Allah, is not, my criteria. not subject to being. division and or separation through its transmission to the heart and paper. The foundations of Islamic is. belief, the fifth but, century. But do you know? Do you know Imam Malik? Says, Imam, Imam Malik, one of the, uh, the uh, from the school of thought. Yeah. Imam Malik, one of the Fukaha. He said. You can disagree with anyone except Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You can have a with anyone. Fair so enough. I have a khalaf with the Ghazali. Okay. But I may be wrong. He may be right. Yeah. Some educated Muslim brother or sister come along and tell me how wrong I am. No, but my position fine. right now is my criteria is the Quran. Yeah. And I believe in every Muslim sh criteria should be Quran, yeah. Sunnah and the Hadith. May I reply? Yes, Sahih Hadith. The rest could be right, could be wrong. May I reply? Yes. So he said that his criteria is the Quran and the Hadith. We've Sunnah all heard well. him say that. Sunnah as well. For his definition of eternal, the way that he tried to justify it was to appeal to the Injil. And I conceded because he appealed to my book. And according to my book, he was correct. So now show me in your book right. the two definitions of eternal. I don't, I don't have right now. I'm not a scholar. Don't I don't have my book. But hang on a minute. But you agree with fine. me the meaning of eternal? According to my book, yes. Yeah, yeah. So my understanding of eternal was the same. So we're agreeing on that. So Why I'm just you asking, asking you to show me that in the Quran. Oh, in the Hadith. As well. uh, wait, probably somewhere, but I don't have a, a source That's right That's fine. So I shall we just park that for a second? Because you haven't I, substantiated. I can, I can bring it. One second. You have not substantiated right. your beliefs according to the authorities what that you said is that? that there's two definitions of the word eternal. Oh, 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 and you haven't substantiated that according to your authorities, the Quran and the Hadiths. You didn't use those. You used uh, the Injil. And everyone heard you do it. I never used the word like in the Quran and Hadith. This is the definition of eternal. I, I say eternal has two meanings. We Muslims believe. That's what I said. So we, show me that we in the Muslims hadith. believe. Show me that in the, the Quran, Quran is the eternal word of God and eternal. In my opinion, I say it has two meanings, which you agree with me. According to the Injil, yes. So not according so, to the Injil. According to definition of according eternal. According to the Injil, yes. No, so, no, according so, to so now let me ask. According let me to ask, the, let me ask according to the definition of eternal. Here. Maybe they can yes. help you. Maybe they can help yes, you. Yes. Is there any Muslim here who knows or any um, hadith? that substantiates this brother's use of the word eternal. Yes, and saying what? And saying what? That it, get, that it operates by those two definitions that you used. If we are talking about Quran, I didn't say, I didn't claim, I didn't claim that is the You definition. claimed that your authority was the Quran and the Hadiths for yes. what you believe. That's right, yeah. And yet... Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to mention one more. Common sense. Okay. Yes, yeah, common sense as well. That's I have no so. problem with common sense. Allah, Allah told us to use our intellect. I have no problem Allah with says to sense. use our intellect. No problem so with I'm using sense. my intellect and common sense and telling you eternal has to mean I have which, no problem which with common you sense. you agree with me. According to the Injil. Okay, so yes. why are you asking me the question? Because the point that I'm seeking to you address, your word the point your that I am seeking to address yes. okay. is that the Muslim Dawah team, right. not necessarily you particularly, because this is the first time we've spoke, right. they come to Speaker's Corner yeah. and they demand that every single I'm thing that a Christian right says be validated by the Quran and the Hadith. And what I am demonstrating 
meeting, not just by talking to you, but talking by any Muslim who will talk to me on this, is that many beliefs within Islam, they cannot. Listen to this, Tell this is good, that if, if the way, if, if the, the whole seas, all the seas yeah. are the ink, yeah. yes, and all the trees ink, were the pens, pens, yes, and all of mankind and Jim would don't, came don't, together, don't be stupid. Don't they be stupid. would not no, no, be no, able no, to produce don't, listen, a listen, like listen. Unto don't be stupid, no, yes, that. let me, now, enough. now you told him, I, I challenge you to give me a verse, I give you, I give you, I give you a verse and you shut up, now, don't tell me, there's no verse, there's no hadith, because you are say if the sea were ink or right uh, right brother, give, give it to him read yeah. it read it read brother yeah or, or right? come, come yeah. and read it bear in mind i'm asking yeah. you for your say if your... the sea were ink yeah uh, yes for the words of the lord my lord yeah the sea would be exhausted before the words of my lord were exhausted even if we brought well, the like of it as is, no, that's the one we're talking about. This is not the subject. This is not the subject. We're talking about the knowledge this, this, of God. This, this, this we're talking about the knowledge no, no, of God. No, but while no, you're brother, here, this since is you brought yourself into the conversation, no. ask the next Do you believe the Quran is created or uncreated? What did this do? What, 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 what's going on? What's your answer? I'm just asking you. I know the answer. What is the answer? But because you are silly, you're asking silly questions and you're praying on people who doesn't know. I'm just asking you. Yes. And what, if I tell you, what are you going to do? I just want to know your Will answer. Will you shut no, up? No. Will course. you never ask this question? No, no, I'm not agreeing okay. to that. Okay, the Quran is the word of Allah. Is it uncreated or created? The word of Allah and shut up. <laughs> is yes? it created or uncreated? Can you create listen, word? listen. <laughs> do you go to the loo? No, no, no. Do you go to the loo? How does that relate to the way the Quran no, is created I, I will give you the answer. Do you go to the loo? Is it created or uncreated? Can you, can you create the word? Look, I have to do Listen, my prayer. I, I yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for talking to me. Have the Quran day. Thank you. is the word okay, so now the spoken talking. word. Now I want to talk to you. No, no, we're not talking. No, the word is it created or uncreated? The spoken word of Allah. Is it created or uncreated? Listen, man, I'm telling you the definition I know and every Muslim should know and you go to hell. Okay. <laughs> Quran, Quran is the spoken word of Allah the Almighty. So is it created or uncreated? <laughs> Why are you asking this question? Why do you keep touching me? Because you're stupid. Really, just stop touching me. Listen, brother, please, please. Do you go to the loo? Why? What's that got to do with the Quran? Is created or When you go to the loo and you do poo-poo or kiki, is this part of you or not part of you? So is it created or uncreated? Is the Quran created or uncreated? The Quran is the production of Allah the Almighty. Okay, it's the production. Yes. It's the production. It's coming out of His attribute. Allah, we believe Allah speak. We don't know how he speak, but we believe he speak, and this is his spoken word. Okay. All the all the holy books are Allah, the Almighty, spoken word. Okay. And can those attributes be changed? The attributes of Allah, the Almighty, are eternal. So, was the Torah changed? Torah. Did not just say that the Torah was one of the attributes of Allah, that it came as the word of Allah? No, 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 listen, 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 don't be stupid, do not ever put word in my mouth, yes? I, you ask me, then correct me, you ask me, I answer, and you see. Is the Quran the word of Allah? Yes. Is the word of Allah one of his attributes? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, no. No, 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 yes. Who's right? You're talking to me, you stupid. You're talking to me. I'm talking to him. No, no, no. If you, if, if, he, if you won't talk. Are you angry? Have you had too much coffee today? I had Relax. ice cream. He gave me ice cream. He gave you ice cream. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Holy books uh, come. Yes. Revelation uh -huh. and are not changed at the time. Ah, okay. At the time. At the time. Yes. Okay. At the time. At the time. So when Adam created. Salam Oh, brother. When, you're the right person. Yeah. How are you? I'm all right. Do you are you? I know he's good. He's irrelevant. Are you good at attributes? Because he's it's all about attributes and and the, the names of Allah. It's, it's, it's I got three minutes. Quran. Yes? Just before we start, just so you know, at three o'clock I got to go, no matter where we are in this conversation. No problem. Okay. So I've been I've been going around speakers' corner and I've been asking a number of Muslims this question, and now I'm going to ask you because a couple of people have referred, I've actually named you as as being the authority to talk to. Me. I'm not an authority of anything. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It must be it must be your presence on YouTube. So, according to uh, Sunni Orthodox Islamic belief, 
Is the Quran created or uncreated? Explain what you mean by created and explain what you mean by Quran. Created is, is that, that God makes it come into being at a particular point in time. And by the Quran, I mean the words of Allah. Okay, according to what you've explained, the words of Allah are uncreated. The words of Allah are uncreated. So this Quran is uncreated. No, if you mean the words of Allah being the Quran, this uncreated. But what you're showing me is the words of Allah transcribed into a paper form. Okay, could you show me where in the Quran it says that the, 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 the Quran um, well, no, it, where it says that the words of Allah are uncreated. So you're asking me to show where? Because if, if, you, yes, please. if we believe Allah is ever existing, yes. ever always living, yes. then his attributes, which the word being one of them, yes. is also inherently with him eternally. So it must be uncreated. It must be everlasting with him. Okay, so, I will so believe I that if, to, so if I don't you can show to, me. I don't need to show you anything. You don't need to show listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. If we believe Allah is eternal, do you believe God is eternal? No, no, don't answer a question no, with a question. No, I'm going to establish that. So I don't have to show you something written. I'm going to demonstrate that to you. Okay, I could do that logically or reasonably or rationally. Do you believe the God that you believe in is eternal with no beginning? Yes, yes. I believe that according to the Bible. Good. So according to your belief about God who is eternal with no beginning, yep. the attributes of God is that eternal with no beginning? My God, yes. Good. So do you need to tell me and show me in written form that the love of God, which is an attribute of God, is uncreated? Or can we logically, reasonably understand because God is everlasting, eternal with no beginning, everlasting with no end. He did not acquire the attributes of love. His love is uncreated. Correct. According to my beliefs. Yes. There you go. So now show me your beliefs according to your book. No, I, I just said there is no I'm need just to, you to show me. Look, look, you're creating. Why don't you want to show me, Mansur? I'm just telling you, you're creating something like, oh, show me your name isn't there in the Bible. Is, is, are, are you saying that? No, that's not, that's not even a logical comparison. Show me in the Quran where it says that the words of Allah are eternal. I just told you, if you believe what Allah is according to the Quran, he is Al Hay Al Qayyum, the one who is ever living. Yeah. If he's ever living, and Lahul Asma Ul Husna, to him belongs all the. Be I'm explaining at the same time without even a fraction of a second delay. So if you were to allow me to finish, you would have known. Okay, next time, learn for that. So, to him belongs the most beautiful names, meaning his attributed of names. So Allah has names of being the most loving. So, I talk about the love. So, because he is ever living, his names, his names of being merciful, compassionate, loving, they're all also eternal, ever living. Meaning what? They're always there present, ever, ever, ever present with him. Philosophically. So, 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 okay, so, now carry on. so I have no need for you to show to you in a book, which is something that makes sense. Now, hold because on one second. You agreed, you agreed, hold on, hold this on is the second. logical conclusion. Hold on one second. Yes, yeah. Philosophically, I agree with you. I have no problem with what you said philosophically. All I'm asking you to do is justify it to me from the Quran. I just told you. Allah show says me. he's ever living. Where does it say that his word is eternal? Listen, I just told you. Show me. This is the third time, and I'll make it the final time. Allah is al hay the living one. If he's the living one, if he's the living one means he didn't come into existence he did not come he's al awwal is al akhir meaning the first and the last all the attributes which are inherent within him brother all the attributes that are inherently within him are also going to be always eternal so you are asking some questions which doesn't require to show in black and white in paper form hold on one second no, Mansour. And, and the reason why I won't accept that as an answer from you is because you are on record many, many times going around interrogating Christians, asking them to substantiate virtually every point of their beliefs according to the Bible. Like so example, I don't give an example. So about the Trinity, for example. So, specific so example of Trinity. no, no, there's plenty on YouTube. No, people no, no, can no, no. go away give and me, research it. No, 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 no. People give can go away and research it. Specific research example it. of the Trinity that I ask people to demonstrate from the text. So, reason? for example, that so, so for example, the idea that there are three persons within one divine God. You go around and you say you want to see you want to see that clearly in the Bible, and you're on record as doing that. So all I'm doing is taking your standard yeah. and now applying it to you. So I'll ask you again, show me in the Quran 
where it says the word of Allah, the Quran, is eternal. Oh, you're logically making a fallacy here. You say where the Quran is called eternal. I am saying Allah's attributes are eternal because Allah says He is Allah, well, He's Allah, He's the first and the last, and He is Al Hay. So to him belongs the most of the beautiful names, his attributive names. I'll make it easy for so, you. No, 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 Show no, no, me in the listen, Quran where it says listen, the, the word of Allah is one of his attributes. Listen. Let me, let me just tell you something. The Sorry. names, yeah. names of Allah, oh, his speech let, let, let is part you. of his attributes. Are you denying that? No, no, I want you to show me in the Quran. I'm you? not denying can anything. I, I just I want to you? show you, I want you to you? show me in the Quran. Can I say you? You know the words, you're asking if the words of Allah is eternal or not. If you're talking... No, what? Let, to be clear, Quran, to be clear, right? let, no, let, let me be right, clear about okay. what I am asking. Yeah. I don't actually dispute what Mansour is saying. Philosophically, it's sound. What I'm saying is I just want him to show me in okay, the Quran, that's all. You are asking if the words of Allah is eternal or not, right? Yeah. Okay, there are so I'm many asking for words evidence, the, is what I'm asking. It's not, it's not everything is eternal. Why? I will tell you. There are stories about Abraham and other prophets. They can't be eternal. They're just stories. They happen and they're finished. And there are words about Jannah and Jahannam. They are eternal. So when you're saying like, if the word of Allah is eternal, it doesn't make any sense. It's there by the judgment day. After judgment day, we don't need that. So what, what, what you're saying is that only aspects of the Quran are eternal? Aspects of the Quran? Some what? parts of the Quran are eternal and some parts are Some words where it says about Jannah, where you're going to live forever, etc. It's eternal. I'm trying to understand what he's trying to and say. And when, when you're talking about the, in Quran, Abraham's story, it's not eternal because that already happened in the past. And you can't say by saying that all the words of Allah is eternal. Of course not. To brother, to be clear, I, so, I, I have no problem with your position and I have no problem with Mansour's position. All have, I'm asking you to do is to show me in the Quran. You have a problem. Your no, no, problem okay, is... Thank you, thank you for your input. Now, to come back to the point, as I demonstrated to you, you haven't demonstrated anything. As I demonstrated to you that Allah says He is ever living, Al Hay, Al Qayyum, that He has all the most beautiful names, that He is the first and He's the last, meaning there is no one before Him, no one after Him, and He will not perish, He's always going to be there because. 9 6, it says, those who hear the word of Allah, Quran is the word of Allah. Quran is the word of Allah. It says, Toba 9 6. 9 6. Here, here, here. Read that passage there. Quran is the word of Allah, and the word of Allah, the speech of Allah, is eternal. Because it's one of His attributes. So, so we understand. Can we, can no, we no, just get that? No, no, I'm not. I'm not quoting this. So, so don't. There's no point. Sorry. In. What? What verse was that, please? You want to debate six. him? Surah nine six. Nine six. In my translation, it says, "If one amongst the pagans asks thee for asylum, grant it to him, so that he may hear the word of Allah." and then escort him to where he can be secure. That is because they are men without knowledge. Where does that say that the word of Allah is eternal? So, to continue, right? So as I said, because Allah is eternal, he has these attributes inherent within him. So I don't need to provide any evidence. No evidence. Listen, okay. listen, listen. I don't need to provide any evidence to say, when Allah says Allah is eternal, I don't have to break it down to mean so. Eternal means, um, it means he's always going to be in existence without a beginning. The name itself, the word itself conveys that meaning. Inherent attributes, eternal with him, conveys that meaning. What you don't understand is this, when I go and speak to a Christian, and demand evidence for their belief in what? For example, as you illustrated, with an example, where in the Bible it talks about that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God, three in one. Because that's what you believe. You claim to believe that they're God and they're one within the Trinity. Now, I don't have to claim separately that, you know what, the word of Allah is not eternal because I know the word of Allah is eternal. It comes with the belief that Allah is eternal. So does his attributes. If I believe in more than one Allah, like which you do, then the onus no, is on you. The onus is on no, you. Stop lying. You believe God, who we call Allah, you call may, him may the I Father. Now. Can I finish my question? May I reply? No, I haven't finished. God is eternal. Otherwise, is immortal. 
It's basic things, you know. So, so, so no, what? No, no, I haven't no, finished. You I have not finished. You, you've so just given. Said, you've I just haven't given. finished. Are you listening? Well, no, I okay, have I'm been listening continue. very patiently. So, so I want to no, no, he, he's been, I've, been, I've been listening very patiently. My point is this. And you're not actually answering okay. my question. When I say... You I'll just I'll said understand. that you go around and ask Christians to show in the Bible that there is Father, Son and Holy Spirit as one God. And you say that that is justified because that is our beliefs. You believe that the Quran is eternal. I therefore am justified in asking you to justify that according to he your did. belief, well, according did. to he your book. He hasn't. You Where does it say the matter. Quran is eternal? No, Please show me that, that right. verse. So, do you see the difference? First, my belief about the Quran or the speech of God, rather, because we believe the Torah was the speech of God as well, the words of God. Right. These are his speech. His speech is eternal. Now, this comes automatically, logically. I don't have to provide you any verse from any book to demonstrate that. But what you believe is something like this. You believe God exists as he is eternal. You believe the Holy Spirit exists as eternal. What you don't believe is that they are one thing. You believe they are separate and distinct. So what I want to... Sorry, we don't believe that. Let me finish. You're, you're misrepresenting let me, my beliefs. Let me finish. finish. No, 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 no. Come no, he's misrepresenting so my beliefs. I just want you, you to know that Mansour is misrepresenting Christian beliefs. Please continue. Now, so the, the lie you just stated now is this. You believe the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Is that correct? Continue. No, you just accused me of a lie. You have so a I'm going gonna, gonna to call you a liar because right. I said, let me finish. Okay, I said, so I haven't finished. I you, haven't want, finished. you want me to so tell I you said, what Christians believe? I said, the Christians Holy believe that the there is Father one God, are not the same. that there is no I division in God, the Son that the, the Father, Father is God, the that the Holy Son Spirit is God, and the, the Holy same. Spirit they is God. So three God. The that they are distinguishable so as personas <laughs> sharing <laughs> in one <laughs> substance. Okay. That is our beliefs. So now, do we don't confuse the persons right. and do we do don't do divide the divinity. Okay. Mansour and this brother here have done exactly that. They are misrepresenting what we as Christians believe. Perfect. What you do notice is this. I said, you don't believe the Father is the Son. The Son is the Father. The Son is the Holy Spirit. The Father is the Holy Spirit. You don't believe they are the same, which is the correct position that I stated in your belief. Don't say I incorrectly represented your belief or lied because you know this is what you believe. No, I just believe, stated what I meant. I'll the say it again. The Son. Christians believe in one God. We believe that that God is without division, that the Father is God, that the Son is God, and that the Holy Spirit is God. That's one God. You are misrepresenting our beliefs. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are distinguishable as personas, but sharing in one substance. That is what Christians believe. Anything Mansour says that is different to that, that divides the divinity or confuses the person is considered a heresy according to Christians. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Is the son the father? No. So are they distinct? In personas. <laughs> are they distinct? In personas. Excuse yeah. me. Are they distinct? They are distinct. Right. That's what he so, said. So he I stated I stated <laughs> in black and white terms, they are not the same, meaning they are distinct. They are they not are, the same in what sense? I just told you they are distinct. The it, father is not the same. Not the same in one, what Excuse sense? Excuse me, let me finish. I'll tell you and you'll learn about your belief. Oh, no, I know what my beliefs are. No, you don't. No, I really you don't. do. I really you really do. don't. I really do. So, so. Come on, I'm surrounded by Muslims who think that I believe in three gods. Excuse me. I, I think I know what I'm talking about so, and you guys don't. Sorry. So, to continue now, the example that you quoted that, okay, I keep on asking. Now, in your belief, because the father isn't the son, the son isn't the father, the father isn't the Holy Spirit, and so on, I want... In hey, what sense finish. are they not the same? I just told you the father is not the son. In what sense? Okay, in what sense are they the same? In what sense are they they're the same? They share in the divine essence. Oh, that knowledge. is the way brother, in which brother, they are moment. the same. One moment, one moment, one moment. Excuse me. I can't hear you, so there's no point saying that. Now, the father and the son, are they distinct entities? No, they are not distinct you entities. They are distinct man. personas. What does a persona mean? Persona is one with will and one with the capacity to communicate. Okay. So a an entity which has a will and capacity. I didn't use entity. What's an entity? What is your idea of an entity? 
Now you tell me what I understand. No, no, no. Entity. Okay, let's You're define. using the word entity. You define it for I'll, us, I'll and we'll see whether I can agree with you okay. in its use. I'll define it from the English language, okay? Okay, that's fine. I'm not agreeing with the word entity unless right, wait, it agrees wait, wait. with my understanding I'm of the right, Trinity. Right. So you don't know what entity means in English, right? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, now. So what do you understand what entity is called in the English language? No, I just want you to define something how you are using it. Something, this is Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary, because yes. you need to learn a bit more, right? No, no, continue. Entity, something which exists apart from other things, Correct. having its own Distance. independent existence. Yes. So do you agree the Son? The Father Ec and the Holy Spirit are not three entities let according me, to this definition. Let me finish. He is misrepresenting let my belief finish. when he says that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are three entities. By this finish. definition, let that me, is not what we Christians let me, believe. Let me Instead of yet. running let away, let me finish my question. From that definition, I'm going to ask you. Okay, from that definition. Is this, is this Son in the Trinitarian belief system something which exists apart from the other things having its own independent existence? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit share in the same divine substance. I didn't ask you that. They are distinguishable as personas. This that is, a, is the orthodox called, belief. This is called what? He wants to hold me. No, let's be clear. Mansour wants to hold me to his definition not of the mine. word Not mine. English language definition. It is the English. And I'm saying I'm, I'm not going English. to use that word. I don't agree with the use of that word to describe my beliefs. You'll have to find another word, Mansour. Listen. <laughs> I used a word in the English language. Correct. That doesn't it relate says, to my beliefs. It says what? An entity is something which exists apart from other things having its own independent existence. So let me ask you again. Christians is, do not believe that me. the Father, Son and Holy you Spirit so exist as sentences. independent entities. We I believe that they share in one essence. You start talking. So let me again repeat. Do you accept? The Holy Spirit is something which exists apart from other things having its own independent existence. Mansour's got the a hearing problem. Are, I've not finished. The, 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 the answers, Mansour's got a hearing problem. Finished. I've already said that I, I don't agree with the use of the word entity and he persists in trying to drive the word into the conversation. Well, why does it this conversation this, this conversation hey, cannot go forward if we don't agree upon finish. the word. Let's, let's understand. So, as I'm using a term in the English language, entity, from Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. So I'm asking you a very simple question. In your Trinitarian belief concept, you hold these three personas. You call them personas. Now, I want to understand what persona means. That's why I asked you. So I'm saying, are you saying the Holy Spirit is something which exists apart from other things having its own independent existence, the potential answers to my questions are the follows. Yes, no. He makes the question and now he gives the definition I'm of the answer. I'm going to give you potential answers what to my question. Persona with me? Oh, brother, one moment, one, please. please. Persona persona persona. I am giving potential answers to my question. Now, my qu question was this. Is the Holy Spirit something which exists apart from other things, having its own independent existence? Most of you now learned the definition, right? The answers are potential answers, which you're going to choose one from the five options. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Maybe. I don't know. I don't care. Which one? Okay, so Mansour has asked the question. The assumptions of the question are flawed. He's basing the question upon the use of the word entity as he has defined it by the Oxford Dictionary. This use of this word, I cannot agree to in the question. It doesn't apply to my beliefs. That is what I am saying. That is what I've been trying to say for you for five minutes. And if you had taken that on board, we'd be a bit further forward in the conversation. A definition of a persona is an actor's portrayal of something in a, someone in a play or a personal facade that one presents to the world. Which one is it? Out of those two, I would go with the second. As so being the closest. A personal facade that one presents to the world. Does that thing exist? Yes. Independently? Independently of what? From other things. Independently of what? Does this thing, the thing like the Holy Spirit, does it have its own existence, independent of anyone? The Holy Spirit does not have its own existence separate from the other two persons of the Trinity. 
Does we don't the believe Spirit, that. Does the Holy Spirit have a beginning of existence? No, we don't believe that. So if it doesn't have a beginning of existence, is it caused by something else? Yeah, it, it, it proceeds from the Father and the Son. That's not my question. If it exists and exists without a beginning, is it being caused by something else or is it uncaused? So the Christian belief about the Holy Spirit is this. Christians believe in one God. We believe that they, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, share in one essence. The Father begot the Son and the Holy because. Spirit proceeds from the Holy Spirit. We are saying that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. Does that mean that the Holy Spirit is created if the Father is eternal? I asked you, is the Holy Spirit caused you by... You've asked me questions, no? I'm asking you a no, question. No, 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 I haven't finished. You have asked me questions, now you answer my question. The Father is eternal, the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. If the Father is eternal, does it not follow that the Holy Spirit is also eternal? So I asked Wasn't you, that your argument about listen, the Quran being listen, eternal, the word of Allah? Because he is ever living, his names, his names of being merciful, compassionate, loving, they're all also eternal. So I asked you, because the Holy Spirit exists... He's not answering my question. Let, let me finish my question. I, I don't want you to waffle around. I will preach. So I asked you now, to, for the sake of the completion of the argument that I made, is this. Holy Spirit exists in your belief. Exists without a beginning in your belief. Is this existence independent, you ask, independent of what? So I'm going to ask you with, is the existence of the Holy Spirit caused by anything? Instead of answering that question, what you did is, Christians believe it proceeds from the Father. This is not what I asked you. So I asked you, I asked you, Question about causation. You've so asked let me, the question let me several finish. times. Me Allow me to answer it again. Okay, Mansour I'm is asking, course. what is the cause of the Holy Spirit? The assumptions of the question are wrong. Again, Christians believe that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. If the Father is eternal, then that means the Holy Spirit is also eternal. This is exactly the same logic that Mansour used to defend the idea that the Quran was oh, yeah. eternal. Perfect. So why does he create a double standard? Why does he say that it's okay for the Quran to be eternal because Allah is eternal, but it's not okay for the Holy Spirit to be eternal because the Father is eternal? Why this double standard, Mansour? So now, as you've seen, while he spoke, I didn't interrupt him. I expect the same courtesy. Notice the false equivocation. I don't believe, as Muslims don't believe, that Allah's speech proceeds from him at some point or whatever. We believe this is inherent within him. You believe the Holy Spirit proceeds from something else. So the Holy Spirit's cause is the Father and the Son. May I reply? So, I haven't finished. So now you believe the Holy Spirit is dependent on the Father and the Son for its proceeding. So that's why the problem is, if you believe in the Christian belief of Trinity, we have to ask you, where did you get all this from? What's your textual basis? I've not finished. What's your textual basis for all of this? He's just preaching. No, Let me preaching. reply. No, He's just <laughs> preaching yeah. now. So, I'm getting what, I ask, what I ask Mansour, is... I think it's actually Mansour, relevant to your question. Excuse Mansour, me, Mansour, I no, no. Mansour is preaching now. And he's misrepresenting my beliefs. Before I finish One my second. point, he's going to cut me off saying I'm preaching. One second. Why are you so afraid to let me finish? Man, Mansour. Okay. Let me ask you, why are you so afraid to let me finish? Because you're just when talking, I finish, Mansour. No. When, I finish, you're not let when I finish, I will tell you when I'm finished. So let me continue. So in your belief, you have a belief like this. Just to let you know, dude, I've got to go in like eight minutes. You have a belief where there is one God and there are persona of this one God. So I want you to clarify one thing for us. Not immediately when I finish. You have a God who sends someone like the Son and the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit and the Son is not the one who is sending. The Son worships. The Son worships the Father. The Son worships the Father. You have an entity called a persona who's supposed to be God. Dude, are you preaching or, or can I, I'm can asking, I respond? I'm asking. This is a long question. Cut to the chase, man. Uh, no, chase. no, no. You need to be patient. I'm oh, going to teach you patience dude, today. Dude. So, dude, listen. Come on. So you have a God. Now, 
within this Godhead is a persona. Okay? <laughs> this persona worships the other persona. Why? So, Mansour didn't answer my question that I asked to him. So I don't, need to, I don't need to show you anything. You don't need to show listen, me. Listen, listen. And so I am under now no obligation to answer any of his questions. What's because I have to go <laughs> for seven minutes. I gotta go in seven minutes. I just no, wanna, I just wanna, that's, no point. that's fine. No, no, no. So, He's not for you answer. guys, no. No, he can he's finish. saying he that can we have no textual <laughs> basis no, to, to say that the Holy Spirit is yeah, yeah. God. So I'm that's, just going to read him one. Are you listening? But a man named Ananias, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property and kept back some of the price for himself. With his wife's full knowledge and bringing a portion of it, he laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said to Ananias, sorry, but Peter said to Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back some of the price of the land? While it remained unsold, it did it not remain your own, and after it was sold, was it not under your control? Why is it that you have conceived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. Perfect. So why does one persona worship the other persona? So, we've, he Answer said the that there was no textual basis to say that the Holy Spirit was God. I just gave it. Now I'm going to give you a textual why basis does the one to say persona that worship Jesus the other persona? is God. I'm not Earlier in our conversation... You see how it is? Strong no, I'm argument. still talking. I'm Strong still talking. Answer Earlier question, in our conversation, why does one persona man sword worship the other persona? named Allah as the first and the last. To show he that he subject, was without maybe. beginning is he gonna or answer? end. As I demonstrated to you that Allah says he is ever living, Al Hay, Al Qayyum, that he has all the most beautiful names, that he is the first and he's the last, meaning there is no one before him, no one after him. Or is the he Bible says, Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. These are two names of Allah. The beginning and the end. It goes on. I, Jesus, have oh. sent my angels to testify. So, 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 Mansur says in the Quran that some of the 99 names of Allah is that Allah is the first and the last. Jesus uses these very names to talk about himself. There is your textual basis for showing that Jesus is God. Okay. Now I said to you, Mansour, to, to I said reply, to you, Mansour, to that I had to go at three o'clock, so I have to go in four, four, minutes. Minutes. four, four minutes. minutes. Now in four no. minutes, four, four, four minutes. minutes. Very good. So now, I didn't ask you to textually prove that there are gods, that's what you believe. My question has always been to the Christians, what makes them one God? was the question. Yep. But the question that I asked you now is this. Do, I can do that. The question, no, the question I'm asking you now is this. Why does one persona worship another persona when they're supposed to be God? Answer it. Right, that's yes. just, that's yeah. just. So one of the questions that he asked. Why does one persona worship the other one? Why, one of the questions where he asked, he says he goes around and he asks the questions. Answer no, answer the question I'm asking now. No, no. Why does Lord, one persona When I asked you to show me in the Quran where it says the Quran is eternal, you said you did not need to. I don't need to show you anything. You don't need to show listen, me. Listen, listen. I am under no obligation no, now to answer yours. Answer I am under no answer. obligation to answer it. yours. You see, I answered. I didn't say I am under no obligation to answer. I did answer and I gave right. you my reason. So he asked the question. So, Hold on. You he said, he question. said, he says he goes around asking the questions. What textual basis do you say that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God? I'm going to give it you right now. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. There you go. There's your textual basis Repeat for saying that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Here it is. I've challenged you and asked and so you this. you don't answer questions, you, you can't demand finish. that people ask questions. Why does yours. one persona worship another persona? Answer okay, that. very quickly to answer that one question, and then I do have to go, like I said to Mansour no at problem. the very beginning, I have to go at three. Clock. The Son became incarnate in flesh. It's hardly logical that God would become a man, taking on the full attributes of a man, and then become an atheist. Perfect. Of course, as a human being, he had to worship the Father as a man. It makes a lot of sense.
And on that note, I've got to go. I didn't say. I've got to go. I didn't say. I've, I said to you I had to go at three. I've got to go. You can Take go. Care, man. You can go.